in 2005, 9 out of 10 people in Rwanda were likely to contract a form of NTDs. NTDs, short for neglected tropical diseases, include soil transmitted helmets, schistosomiasis, protoconiosis, and scabies. Emmanuel Nirishema, a 26-year-old potato farmer from Kwasavo, Rwanda, was devastated after his wife of five years left him. Buckled under the weight of caring for Emmanuel and the difficulties associated with his protoconiosis, his wife left with her two children. Protoconiosis, a condition characterized by gross enlargement of the lower legs, is caused by walking barefoot in irritant, mineral-rich soils. The prevalence of protoconiosis is low, about 68.5 estimated per 100,000 people. While it is widespread throughout Rwanda, it indicates that suitable environmental conditions for protoconiosis are present throughout the country. Most people affected by protoconiosis are farmers who do not wear shoes. Emmanuel was just 15 years old when he became infected. He experienced various symptoms from fever to death of body tissue to itching of legs that swelled to the point of rendering him unable to walk. Emmanuel and other Rwandans with similar NTDs are stigmatized. As a result, some members of their society feel uncomfortable around them, which result in discrimination, social exclusion, and poor medical care. Nisayima John Damasin, also affected by protoconiosis, explains, we are stigmatized due to protoconiosis, and some members of our society feel uncomfortable around us. So we are appealing to our society to stop discrimination against us. People with this condition can work and use their brains like healthy people. The only problem we have is the lower legs, otherwise we are normal. In 2020, it was estimated that nearly 6,500 people live with protoconiosis, but health services for them are almost non-existent. People affected by NTDs tend to ignore the symptoms until they become severe, thus complicating medical treatment. At the same time, NTDs are often overlooked by medical personnel as they are usually trained in other prominent diseases such as HIV, TB, and malaria. Gaps in health provider knowledge and practices for NTDs highlight a need to improve access to essential medicine and health facilities. In addition, NTD-focused training sessions for practicing health providers are necessary to minimize the burden and stigma of affected individuals. In recent years, coordinated efforts of the government of Rwanda with support from the WHO have created a multi-sectoral approach that aims at decentralization of prevention, control, and elimination interventions under district coordination given that NTDs differ from one district to another. Coordinated efforts include providing citizens affected with a comprehensive treatment plan that includes healthcare, counseling, and materials to treat NTDs. Rwanda's strategic plan for the years 2019 to 2024 considers population involvement in understanding NTD's problems and hopes to become part of the solution toward destigmatizing and reducing the cases of NTDs. Some efforts have been placed to curb the rate of infections, including mass treatment against intestinal worms and schistosomiasis or deworming, educating the public and proper hygiene, hand and foot washing, water treatment and sanitation. Has Rwanda's progress towards its goal of ending NTDs by 2030, Emmanuel's story demonstrates the need to continue to address NTDs across multiple sectors such as education, nutrition, water, animal and environmental health.